Balmiki, the ascetic, questioned the eloquent Narada. Is there a man in the world today who is truly virtuous? Who is there, who is mighty and yet knows both what is right and how to act upon it? Who always speaks the truth and holds firmly to his vows? Who exemplifies proper conduct and is benevolent to all creatures? The many virtues you have named are hard to find. Hear now of a man who has them all. His name is Rama, and he was born in the house of Ikshavaku. The Ramayana is a masterpiece of Indian literature, a fundamental Vedic text. Transmitted orally throughout the generation, the Ramayana has also been the subject of several versions written over the courses of the centuries. The most famous is the version attributed to Valmiki, written in Sanskrit around the 11th century. In his account, Valmiki does not present himself as someone who merely tells a story, but as someone who listens, perpetuating the tradition of oral transmission. Today, we have the pleasure of presenting the entire text of the Ramayana by Valmiki in the new translation from Sanskrit to English by Robert Goldman, Sheldon Pollock, Rosaline Lefebvre and Sally Sutherland Goldman, the work of which six volumes have already been published by Princeton University Press and the seventh, currently being translated, is the only translation based on the critically edited text of the poem produced according to scientific principles and renowned for its poetry and language. The fruit of an immense research, this luminous epic is extensively illustrated by 700 Indian miniatures from the end of the 16th to the beginning of the 19th century. Ten years of research were necessary to identify, find and assemble, image by image and manuscript by manuscript, the largest existing collection of miniatures from the Ramayana. More than 5,000 miniatures were found in private and public collections worldwide. To find these images was and always is a challenge, but also a great joy. The pleasure to find beautiful works of art, discover museums in India and around the world, and most passionate collectors are just some of the adventures that have made this unique edition of Indian art possible. Amina Okada, chief curator at the National Museum of Asian Art, Guimet, in Paris, art historian and author of numerous books dedicated to Indian art, has accepted to ensure the scientific direction of our edition. Amina has also written 600 commentaries for the images. Furthermore, in her introduction, The Ramayana in Indian Painting, Amina discusses Mughal manuscripts from the end of the 16th century and Rajput painting from the 17th to 19th centuries. The preface of our edition, written by B. N. Goswami, Professor Emeritus of Art History at the Punjab University in Chandigarh, discusses how the Ramayana was recited during family evenings. Even today, the story of Rama is told in numerous Indian households. A delight for the eyes and the spirit, this sacred text, the Ramayana, is presented in such a way that the reader is totally transported by its beauty. <laughs>